Petacolis Brewing Company is a small, family-owned and operated brewery located in the Dallas Design District. We started brewing in December of 2011. The first beer we released was the Velvet Hammer, an Imperial Red Ale. It's one of our most popular beers. As we like to say at the brewery, it's smooth as velvet and hits you like a hammer. A typical brew day starts early. The first step is milling in. Our recipe includes approximately 1,400 pounds of grain. The grain is cracked open as it passes through the mill's rollers and then collects in the grist case. Meanwhile, yeast is harvested from a beer that is already finished fermenting. Now we combine the grain with hot water in a process known as mashing. Mashing converts the starch into sugars. We have to measure and monitor several properties of the mash like temperature, pH, and gravity throughout the process to make sure we're getting the results we want. Hot sparge water is passed through the mash bed to extract any remaining sugars. Once the wort has been transferred to the kettle, it's time to start heating it up. While the wort is coming to a boil, the leftover spent grain has to be cleaned out of the mash tun and collected for a local farmer. The tank that the beer will ferment in will also need to be cleaned and sanitized. Now back to the boiling wort. Another gravity and pH reading is taken. Hops are a necessary ingredient to balance out the sweetness of the malt. We measure and add hops at three different times during the boil. Once for bittering, once for flavor, and once for aroma. When the boil is complete, the wort is whirlpooled and transferred to the fermenter. It travels through a heat exchanger that cools down the wort to the proper temperature for the yeast. The yeast we collected earlier is now pitched into the fermentation tank. Brew day is over and now we wait. The yeast will begin to convert the sugars to alcohol and carbon dioxide. You can see the CO2 venting out of the tank and into the blow off bucket. This fermentation period will last one to two weeks. We take gravity measurements to determine when fermentation is complete. The bright tank is also cleaned and sanitized prior to transferring the fermented beer. A pump is used to transfer the beer from the fermentation tank to the bright tank where it will be carbonated.
This tool, a Zaman Nagel, measures the PSI and temperature of the beer, which can then be used to determine the carbonation level. Now it's time to start kegging. But first, we've got to make some room in the cooler. Hoses are connected to the bright tank that allow multiple kegs to be filled at once. Each keg is individually tapped, filled, unhooked, rinsed, and moved to the cooler. Just two weeks, the beer has gone from grain to glass. We hope you enjoy drinking it as much as we enjoy making it.